got um, next position. From now on, I, I will talk about um, some technique, how to approach a cube action. Let is on low. Let is threatening to hit this checker. Let might make this point, and white is on the bar. <laughs> so from tip number two, it should be double anyway, whatever it is, because he might drop, and it might be double anyway. So but my, my question here is, is it take or pass? Take, take. And this position is actually a double take, so you're right. But how to estimate this position? <coughs> I use this plot formula, which is position and lace and slit. Threat is like a very good draw, very good draw. Position less and threat. If you have two out of three, it's usually a double take. If you have all of them, it's usually a double pass. And if you have only one or less of them, then it's no double take. So get it back. Um, this position, you have a nice position, basically. Position is... Um, basically board. You have a nice board and you have an anchor. So in positionally, positionally uh, red is in good shape. Okay, so one is checked. And the lace, lace is actually down 30 pips. So lace is not checked. Lace is white paper. However, red is big thread to hit this chick guy or uh, making a point or, you know, um, so uh, yeah, this two, two threads. You can hit the checker or you can make a point and white might dance again. So when we use this position, uh, when we use this formula to apply to this position, position checked, less is not checked, and threat is checked. So two, of, two out of three are checked, so this is a double take. And this formula is very uh, rough formula. But still, it's very, very um, practically be very useful. So um, you can try it. Threat is very hard to explain. Basically, um, one, you might hit a blot. Um, two, uh, you might make a point. Um, yeah, basically, these two things is uh, two things are really big threat, mainly. So whenever you have you see a blot, and whenever you see um, also no anchor, if he has no anchor, it's usually a uh, big threat because blitz can be successful. So next position, wide on low, money game. Red has blocked here. <coughs> Actually, you can use plot on this, this position as well. Positionally, it's Good. Lace, white is down, uh, maybe, maybe cross. And uh, white has some threat, so maybe it's double tank. So with this position, I would like to introduce next formula, which is leading your upcoming, upcoming sequence. Think of good, normal, and bad sequence. Give him a slightly good law and give yourself slightly bad law and imagine what happened. So let's, let's give him some slightly good law, okay? Um, four, three is slightly good. It's not too good, it's too wide. Three, five, three, six is way too good, right? Like uh, pointing on is way too good. And Low like 2 1 is a bit under average, I think, because white can hit almost always. So I just give 3 4. 3 hit and 4 anchor. And let's give let a slightly bad low and see what happens. Imagine white is 3 4 and let load 1 5. So red will enter from the bar with ace, and uh, 
down from the midpoint to the 5. And we get this position. So what happened? If it is huge double pass, then it's probably a double pass in original position. If it is still take, then it's probably a no double take in the original position because we gave him a good roll and we gave us a bad roll. All right? In this position, actually this is this is easy take. This is easy take. Um, Red is still leading a race and uh, white has to cover and still white has open seven point. So even though we gave him a good roll and gave us a bad roll, this is still easy take, so which means this original position is a no double. So whenever cube action occurs, try to think good sequence and bad sequence and normal sequence and see what happens. And if you are, if you could do it, you, you can very, you can be very close to the um, to the answer. Give him slightly good rolls and give us a slightly bad rolls and see what happens. This is second formula. And this is very important in some position. Some, some players will get panicked, you know. Oh, I will get pointed on, I will dance, you know. This is not right approach to the position. You have to think calmly what will happen in the next row. And what, calm, you have to think calmly what is a good role, what is the average role, what is a bad role. And this position, you shouldn't think only about 3-5 or 3-6 or 5-6. Of course, he might roll it, but on average, on average, 4-3, is a slightly good roll. And on average, we are favored to enter. So this is my idea. You shouldn't get panicked. You have to think calmly, what is the next roll? What is the next sequence? Um, that is my idea.